Hello, my name is Natasha Marsh and I'm the Sims Product Manager for the Primary Sector. In this Did You Know session, we're going to have a look at new features within Sims Assessment that allow you to record pupil progress at curriculum level and link this back into your termly progress tracking. Let's go into Sims and take a look. The new features can be found under Focus, Assessment, Progress Grid, Entry. This opens up a search area from which you can select the pupils you wish to assess. But first you need to select the progress grid template you will be using. This will need to be imported, which I will explain towards the end of this demonstration. Click the button to the right of the template name box to show the list of available progress grid templates. The list will include any you have imported and any that the school may have created. If the list is empty, your assessment coordinator will need to import or create templates. SIMS has created Progress Grid templates for assessing pupil progress. There is a single template for primary schools, which contains each APP subject. For secondary schools, separate APP templates have been prepared for reading, writing, speaking and listening, maths, science and, a and ICT. Highlight the required template and click OK. You'll then need to select the pupils you wish to assess. You can select individual pupils, for example by typing surname details into the box. Or you can select a group of pupils. Click the button to the right of the group filter box to bring up the group filter. With this you can select a course, year group, class or use a defined group, for example. In this example, I've created a user-defined group for APP in Year 6. Select the required group and click Apply. Then click the Search button to show pupils in the selected group. Next, select a pupil within that group and click Open. This opens the selected grid for the chosen pupil. If the selected template contains several subjects, you can click the tabs at the top to move between the different subjects. You can use the next and previous buttons to move between pupils within the selected group. Each grid contains various levels of assessment, so you can scroll up and down to see each level. This provides a sense of where pupils have progressed from and where they should move to next. Use the narrow and widen column buttons to make the grid narrower or wider. This can help make more columns visible on screen if the template contains a number of columns. Each grid template is organised into rows for each level of assessment. In the APP grid templates provided by SIMS, this level equates to the national curriculum level. Each column is a particular area of focus within the selected subject. To record an assessment, select the required grade from the colour palette. Then tick the box next to the cell that contains the relevant assessment objective. Repeat this for other cells within your assessment. You might choose to record simply a Y or green colour to show the pupil has achieved that statement. Or you might choose to record an I for insufficient evidence or insecure achievement, or an N, red, where an objective has been taught but the pupil doesn't show evidence of achieving that statement. The tick box at the top of the row indicates achievement of that level of assessment for the whole area of focus. Once an assessment is recorded, you can record a note about that particular objective by clicking the View Edit Notes button. You might want to record where you saw evidence of that achievement, for example. Notice a red triangle appears when a note has been added. The strengths and next steps comment boxes are used to record observations about the whole of that subject. 
Once you've completed your assessments, you can record an assessment of the selected pupil's overall national curriculum sublevel for that subject within the overall assessment area. However, before saving, you will need to select a result set which indicates the year group and the term in which the assessment took place. And this then allows you to track progress over time. I can then go in and record my overall assessment level. If you're using SIMS tracking progress mark sheets, the overall level will pull through to these mark sheets. Exporting the list to Excel will provide you with a printable version of the assessment grid for that pupil with all recorded assessments showing. Results entered into progress grids can also be viewed for a, for a whole group via a mark sheet. This will show the colours recorded in the grid plus any comments indicated by the same red triangles. The mark sheet view can give you an immediate impression of the strengths and follow-up needs of the groups by looking at the predominance of colours. To use SIMS predefined APP grids and mark sheets, you will need to import them via the route Routines Data In Assessment Import. This is more fully described in the Pupil Progress Grid Handbook. The Pupil Progress Grid functions have been provided as templates which enables schools and local authorities to create and define templates for a variety of purposes, such as for assessing special educational needs or English as an additional language. You'll find the creation route under Focus, Assessment and Progress Grid Template. And again, this is described more fully within the handbook Using Progress Grids in SIMS, which can be found on SupportNet. That's the end of today's presentation. I hope you found it useful. Thank you for watching and if you need more information, please follow the on-screen details.